and welcome back to flexible games where we are playing factorio death world moving in on the biters we've got my tank now which is awesome i'm gonna park this somewhere that uh, i'll be able to know exactly where it is mainly right by the tank manufacturing area so i know where it is and let's figure out how to get some cannon shells and uh hopefully let's see hopefully really start uh beefing up our defenses here oh move out let's see so cannon shells i'm pretty sure use explosives plastic explosives and steel explosives sulfur coal and water all very very readily available right down here okay so we have coal we have sulfur and we need water which we can get anywhere so let's split coal here I'm going to need to underground it over to here. Add that. You can tell how long it's been since I've actually uh, worked in this area. It's still very old stuff. Um, we're going to want to come up. Is this enough space? This would be enough space. Whoa. Um, let's come up right here. And I'm pretty sure that is in a chemical plant, which we just happen to have some. How about that? Um, we're going to want to put something like that. What is the build time on these? Five seconds. So let's do two sets. Like that. And these are going to be explosives. And bring up the rest of the coal. And the water is the only really tricky part, but we're going to kind of sneak that in behind here. So we're going to, this is going to be water and we're going to put the water right like this. Let me grab some pipe. like that that'll be the water these will be the output so we're gonna do like five a piece and output input and one more input long inserter Just like that. There we go. Should be getting explosives. And we're getting um, 2.75 crafting speed. Uh, we could uh, upgrade, we could research the next chemical plant and get like a 3.5 crafting speed, but I don't know that we're going to be needing that. We might need it, but I don't know if we're going to need it. Okay, the next item. Now that we have explosives, we need steel plastic. Uh, and I'm not sure where we use either in a good convenient location. So let's see where plastic is. Plastic is right here. 
So how far does this go out? This is way out here. So we've got both ingredients all the way out here. Let's build it up above here. Um, and what is the, that's just a regular crafter. And what is the recipe? One explosive, that's not bad, but four steel, that's, it's gonna consume a lot of steel. Uh, eight seconds for that. Uh, so let's, let's actually have four of these. I always miss, miss, uh, let's do the last one. So cannon shells, just like that. So we're going to need steel, plastic, and explosives. And explosives will bring in with bots, but we'll still put them on a belt. So that'll be explosives. And then we will do the same sort of system that we have in other places. So this will be explosives. And then we'll just output to either side like that. And that'll fill the belt and it'll, you know, give us some, some good crafting. And uh, that is really in our way here. Um, let's... Take you down there and put you over there. Because we need a belt that we can expand and we can store those cannon shells. And let's just have four, bank of four, like that. So that'll be cannon shells. In a, in a chest that we can request. Okay, so this needs to be steel and plastic, which is right down here. Um, we can take some steel off the line, like right, right away there. And then plastic is gonna have to come in like right here. So steel and plastic, good to go. Let's grab those and those. There we go, steel and plastic ready to go. We just need some inserters for the explosives and to put out onto the belt like that. Then it's a matter of power like that. There we go. They should be going to grab more explosives. There we go. Continually grabbing more explosives until that fills up. Because it's only using one each. Oh, I didn't power this. Let's uh, throw some power up here. Like that. There we go. Cannon shells, Can, cannon shells are awesome. Okay, so we've got cannon shells, we've got ammo, we've got turrets, we have an awesome tank. It's all gassed up and ready to go. So if I just throw cannon shells in there, where do they go? So they go in the first one. So range is 25, but range is 35. Let's, oh, they don't go in there. Tank artillery, so what? 
Explosive artillery shells. Alien explosive fluid. Ooh, that sounds... That sounds a little dangerous. So it is a special shell. Area of effect, 11 damage, 300 explosion. That sounds awesome. So let's see what we can do about that. Um, alien... Alien explosive fluid. Uh, we need a whole new research chain for this. We've got the alien artifacts. I mean, I've collected so many hundreds of thousands of artifacts that I've got all the colors. It's just a matter of getting the researches built, um, getting them supplied. I've got all the artifacts over here. So this alien... So we've got lots of red or yellow uh, artifacts. Let's um, get some assemblers going. Get refilled on all my stuff here. Um, let's go and get five more of those. Uh, because I need an assembler for every single color and I don't want to. I don't want to do it sort of half-assed. I want to kind of go. I want want to go all in. So we need six. Uh, let's do this. This is going to be all botted anyway. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. These are going to be all the different science packs. <clears throat> And where would those be? There they are. Okay, so let's go down the line here. So blue, orange, purple, yellow, green, and red. So we need artifacts for each one of those and then we need an output for each one of those and we need to limit the output let's limit it to 10 just because these should make 10 at a time yeah they make 10 at a time so and it's 12 seconds yikes okay so let's copy and paste that so these are going to be blue, so we need to request blue. Orange. Orange. Purple. Purple. Yellow. Yellow. Green is green. And red. It's weird that those are in a different order in the menu than they are in the other menus. So we need to output, and we need an input. And we need a substation. Let's upgrade those. Just like that. All right, 10 at a time, building them up. Now, to research that, we need an alien lab. So let's grab the ingredients for that, which is blue, pink, and orange. So let's grab a stack of blue, a stack of orange, and we have so many pinks that it is just crazy how many pinks we have just thousands I'll give you a peek down here how many we've got so I've been processing these the whole the whole game so we have this chest that's full we have this chest that's almost full and we have this chest that's almost full that's crazy and for some reason we can only make eight of them 
Really? Transport belts? That's what I'm... Five. Let's see if that goes up. I want to, I want to do ten of these. Then another five. So we can go five, and then ten, and that should be good. And then we don't need the rest of these. These can go away. And these can go away. Those will go into storage, and then eventually they'll get all filtered out, and everything will be good. Okay, where do we want the research? I think we can put the research just right over here. Yeah, I did make 10 of those. And then we're going to want some serious requester chests here. Actually, just one requester chest should be should be good, because this needs all the alien science packs, plus the regular one, plus the gold. Um, but the researchers themselves don't use a huge variety of them, so it's kind of limited on how many you actually need. So I am going to request. Not 200 of those. I'm going to request 50 of those. I don't care about those because we got so many. Um, yes, yes, yes. You just gave me too many. And then the blues, orange, purple, yellow, green, and red. And that pretty much probably cleared out all of those. So I copied that. So let's just paste it all the way up. There we go. The bot should fill all that stuff out fairly fast. The other piece of the puzzle is I don't put the regular purple artifact or purple science packs into a chest. I just put those onto a belt. So I have to come down here and make sure that these are actually being put to use. Let's upgrade the... Let's upgrade these. So instead of a 1.25 crafting, they're 2.75 crafting, which is awesome. Let's limit these to one stack, or one roll, I mean. And then output here. And these should, you know, these are also 10 at a time. So it, it will go pretty fast. But we can knock that alien science right out the door. Um, since we're using the golds, um, this is where the golds come from, right here. Um, and I can actually upgrade those. So they'll craft. They use a red, a green, and a blue in their crafting. So it actually kind of causes my whole system to start working. But I can produce those way faster than I can produce the golds. All right, so my research should be good to go as soon as I power it up. So let's get some power up in here. That'll do there. And link those together. Let's uh, put some lights around in here so we can see. And we'll grab a couple more inserters. And it should process this just fine. Should have enough of everything in there. To 
to get that liquid. I need that liquid. Um, what is the crafting time on that one second? And it is coal and sulfur. Okay. Interesting craft on that. But that'll have to wait till next episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.